Imran Hussein is a person that Wikipedia refers to as an Islamic scholar and has more than 400,000 subscribers on YouTube as we speak. Many people listen to him and follow what he says thinking that's Islam. He posted a lecture titled The Quran, the Messiah and Akhir Zaman. And I can't imagine how a Muslim can speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the way he did in the video. So without wasting any time, let's watch the clips and come back. Don't come with this nonsense. Because it is not only pathetic nonsense, it is absolutely sinful to say that Allah when billah min hadha, Allah calls someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Wait for judgment day with that nonsense. Who are you to dictate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what's moral and what's not? Islam is to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to your whims and desires. What this guy is trying to claim is that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Jesus alayhi salam by turning another person to his likeness to take his place in the crucifixion, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be unjust because that person is innocent and never claimed to be the Messiah. Firstly, Jesus alayhi salam is also innocent even if he claimed he is the Messiah because because it's the truth. And for the Romans or the Jews at that time to try to crucify him is a big crime. What this guy is rejecting is what we call the substitution theory, which means someone else was crucified instead of Jesus alayhi salam. And who holds this view? Well, it was the companion of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu. So are you trying to claim that Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu was talking nonsense? Don't come with this nonsense. Ibn Abi Hatim recorded that Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu said the Messiah alayhi salam said to those of his companions who were with him in the house which of you will make to look like me and be killed in my stead and he will be with me in the same level as me in paradise. A young man who was one of the youngest of them stood up and he said to him sit down then he repeated it and that young man stood up again and he said sit down then he repeated it again and that young man stood up and said I will do it he said you are the one so he was caused to look like Isa and Isa was lifted up from a window in the house to heaven and Ibn Kathir said about this report in his tafsir that it has a sahih isnad going back to Ibn Abbas radiallahu anh. so for this Islamic scholar to reject the theory of substitution because he feels like it doesn't make any sense may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Muslims to be united upon the Quran and the Sunnah pathetic nonsense it's not there in the Quran it's in your imagination that's why it is and yet it took the world of Islam by storm what a brainwash Ummah we are today we are not Quran only Muslims. Anyone who rejects the Sunnah and authentic Hadith is a kafir and left the fold of Islam. Moreover, who else believed that Jesus السلام, was not crucified? It's the Christians themselves. Ignatius was a first century bishop of Antioch and is one of the apostolic fathers. And he was a bishop of the very early church. And it is believed that he was one of the children that Jesus took in his arms and blessed. And he wrote in his letter, the epistle of Ignatius to the Magnesians chapter 9. If therefore those who were brought up in the ancient order of things have come to the possession of a new hope, no longer observing the Sabbath, but living in the observance of the Lord's day, on which also our life has sprung again by him and by his death, whom some deny. Subhanallah, this is a clear admission of the church father Ignatius, who lived at the time of the disciples of Jesus alayhi salam, and it is believed by Christians that he was blessed by Jesus. Jesus alayhi salam himself. They were Christians from the time of Jesus alayhi salam and his disciples who didn't believe he was crucified. Allahu Akbar. This is a clear proof for us Muslims and a confirmation of the Quran. And said, we have killed the Messiah Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of God. They did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, though it was made to appear like that to them. Those that disagreed about him are full of doubt, with no knowledge to follow, only supposition. They certainly did not kill him. Well then what happened? Well then why don't you go to the Quran, let the Quran explain rather than go on fancy flights of imagination? You're going to tell Allah on Judgment Day, you caused that man to assume the appearance of someone? 
And he who never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. That is an act of injustice. You attributing injustice to Allah? What foolishness! But where are the scholars who will correct this foolishness? What this guy doesn't understand is that he is indirectly insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's take this issue of Jesus alayhi salam aside. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Abraham alayhi salam to sacrifice his son Ismail alayhi salam. Let's imagine you were alive at the time of Prophet Abraham alayhi salam. And Abraham alayhi salam asks you, what do you think about this command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And he asks you the question before knowing it was only a test. Are you going to say, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unjust because Ismail alayhi salam was innocent? A'udhu billah. He is not questioned about what he does, but they will be questioned. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are Muslims and we submit ourselves to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who are we to question the actions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's why I have to be so forceful in my language. Allah took his soul. They thought he was dead. They took down the body. They put the body in the cave. They sealed the cave. Allah returned the soul. As simple as that. Nobody knew that the body, that the soul was returned. And Allah raised him. But let me warn you one more time. If you stick with this theory of substitution, you are going to be in a pathetic state on Judgment Day. Let me warn you one more time. This is a simple explanation from the Quran. Where in the Quran does it talk about a cave and putting the body in a cave? You claim to follow the Quran, yet you are just quoting the Bible. If you really follow the Quran, then you should submit to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that's it. They did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, nothing more and nothing less. And anything else is just from your imagination. And by the way, not only do some Muslim scholars believe that Jesus alayhi salam was not crucified, and another person was crucified in his place, but many early Christians also believed that. Church father Irenaeus was a Greek bishop. He wrote in his book, against heresies describing the beliefs of the Basilidians in book 1 chapter 24. But the father without birth and without name, perceiving that they would be destroyed, sent his own first begotten to bestow deliverance on those who believe in him. From the power of those who made the world, he appeared then on earth as a man to the nations of these powers and wrought miracles. Wherefore he did not himself suffer death, but Simon, a certain man of Cyrene, being compelled bore the cross in his stead so that this latter being transfigured by him that he might be taught to be Jesus was crucified through ignorance and error while Jesus himself received the form of Simon and standing by laughed at them. So Arrhenius is confirming that early Christian groups didn't believe it was Jesus السلام, who was on the cross but Simon of Cyrene. Don't tell me that these early Christians also got their beliefs from Muslim scholars and the Bible also mentions that Simon of Cyrene was made to carry the cross of Jesus. Luke 23 verse 26. As the soldiers led him away, they seized Simon from Cyrene, who was on his way in from the country, and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. So we have the Bible confirming that it was Simon of Cyrene who carried the cross instead of Jesus. And we have church father Irenaeus confirming that early Christians believed that it was Simon of Cyrene who was crucified and not Jesus alayhi salam. So we have clear evidence to suggest that it was Simon of Cyrene who was crucified and not Jesus alayhi salam. And to make it clear, as a Muslim, I can't say 100% it was Simon who was crucified. We Muslims can't believe things we can't confirm. We take our religion from the Quran and the authentic Sunnah. Allah said Jesus alayhi salam was not killed nor crucified. We Muslims, alhamdulillah, hear and obey. 
Be careful from where you get your religion from. People like Imran Hussein are storytellers who mix truth with falsehood. And listening to them will definitely affect your aqidah and your Islam. So stick to the scholars of Islam who are upon the Quran and the Sunnah according to the understanding of the Salaf. Jabir ibn Abdullah reported, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The most evil matters are those that are newly invented. For every newly invented matter is an innovation and every innovation is misguidance and every misguidance is in the hellfire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and protect us from any deviation and innovation. I hope you benefited from this video. You can also watch this video about a Jewish rabbi claiming that Islam is a false copy of Judaism. And don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.